Hello friends, this video on arithmetic progressions part 2 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched part 1. A general form of AP. This general form. This is A, A plus D, A plus 2D, A plus 3D dot dot. Why? Because we are told that D is the common difference. Correct? And we also told that how AP is formed, you take the first number. On first number, you add the common difference. This becomes A plus D. On second number, you on this number, you add again common difference. That is A plus D plus D. Now on this number, you again add common difference. That becomes A plus D plus D. On this number again, you add common difference. That becomes A plus D plus D plus D. So if you see this, this is nothing but A, A plus D, A plus 2D. A plus 3D, A plus 4D, this fashion. Correct? Right? If you see this, this is nothing but A, A plus D, A plus 2D, A plus 3D, A plus 4D. This is a general form of AP. Please remember this. Whenever you are asked to write a JP, AP, in most of the questions, we'll assume the AP to be A, A plus D, A plus 2D, A plus 3D, that form. So this is the general form of AP. By definition also, on every term you add a common difference. So here also on A we have added D, this becomes A plus D. Now on this term we add again D, this becomes this term. On this term again we added D, this becomes A plus D plus D plus D. Again on this term we added D, this becomes A plus 4. Now let's talk about finite and infinite AP. AP which has a last term is called finite AP. And AP which does not have a last term is called infinite AP. For example, if I'm talking about the AP, let's suppose three common differences, let's suppose five, two. Three plus two, five, five plus two, seven, seven plus two, nine, nine plus two, eleven, eleven plus two, thirteen, thirteen. And thirteen is the last number, let's say. So in this case, we know there are finite number of elements in the AP and this has a last term. This is called finite. An AP that does not have finite last term is called infinite AP. For example, let's take one AP where the first term is, let's suppose four, and the common difference is 3. The next term will be 4 plus 3, right? And the next term will be 4 plus 3 plus 3, correct? And again, the next term will be 4 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3. I'm mean, just adding 3 in the previous terms, right? So this term will be this. This is an infinite AP, there is no end. So it is having dots in the end. So the AP is nothing but 4. 7, 7, 3, 10, 10, 3, 13, 13, 3, 16, dot, dot, dot. So if you see in this AP, there is no last term. There is no last term because it is infinite AP. There is no last term. Correct? So AP are of two types, finite AP and infinite AP. AP which has a last term is called finite AP. AP which doesn't have a last term is called infinite AP. For example, if you see in real life scenario also, let's suppose the same girl uh, Gita. Gita is putting money in the piggy bank, right? Let's suppose this is a piggy bank and she is putting money in the piggy bank. Now, if she is telling that she will put money only for one month, right? If she is putting money only for one month, so in that case it is a finite AP because if you see the series, it will be 10, 20, 30. It will somewhere stop after one month. One month it may be, let's suppose, 300. It will somewhere stop after one month. So this will be a finite AP. But the same Gita, if she, she tells that, I'll continue doing it till my life long, right? Then there is no end. The money will keep growing. So in that case, that will be infinite AP. Correct? Finite AP is the one which has an end point, which has a last term. Infinite AP is the one which doesn't have a last term. Let's take some scenario and tell us which, whether this is AP or not. Now the question says that the taxi fare after each kilometer, when the fare is 15 rupees for the first kilometer and 8 rupees for the additional kilometer. So for the first kilometer, this guy is charging 15, 15 rupees and for the next kilometers, 8 rupees per kilometer. So let's find out first kilometer is nothing but 15 rupees. 
right and first and second kilometer if you add or you can say that little no no like if i'm hiring for 1 kilometer i have to pay 15 rupees why because the taxi says 15 rupees for the first kilometer if i'm hiring for 2 kilometer how much i have to pay 15 plus 8 15 for the first kilometer and 8 for the second kilometer correct if i'm hiring for 3 kilometer how much i have to pay 15 for the first kilometer and 2 into 8 for the next 2 kilometers because for addi additional each kilometer he is charging 8 rupees if i am hiring for 4 kilometers i have to pay 15 rupees for first kilometer and 3 into 8 for next 3 kilometers if i am hiring for 5 kilometers i have to pay 15 rupees for the first kilometers and 4 into 8 for the next kilometers similarly if i am hiring for 6 kilometer i have to pay 15 for the first kilometer and 5 rupees per kilometer for the next kilometers similarly for 7 kilometer i have to pay 15 for the first kilometer and 6 rupees for the next kilometer so if you see this this is nothing but 15 this is nothing but 15 823 this is nothing but 16 plus 15 that is 31 This is nothing but thirty-one eight thirty-nine. This is nothing but forty-seven. This is nothing but fifty-five. This is nothing but sixty-two. Right? Now, if you see this, if you see this, if you write this term in this fashion, fifteen, twenty-three, thirty-one, thirty-nine, forty-seven, fifty-five, and sixty-three, let's find the common difference. The common difference here is a thirty-two minus sorry this is thirty-one thirty-one minus twenty-three is also eight thirty-nine minus thirty-one is also eight forty-seven minus thirty-nine is also eight fifty-five minus forty-seven is also eight and sixty-three minus sixty-three is also eight. If you see here, the common difference is constant. Thus, I can say that this is a if very simple. What we have done for one kilometer, for two kilometer, three, four, five, six, seven kilometers, I found the total cost that i have to pay and i have arranged this so then i found that this is an ap because the common difference is constant let's take one more scenario thank you visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos try free online tests get the best quality study materials study from the best tutors and mentors and much more thanks once again